Hello everyone, this is Jeff at High Fashion Sewing Machines and Quilt Shop. This is our, I guess, second quarter 2021 So Savvy recording of our party. So we will have this up for Friday and then break it down. We hope to have the uh, next issue or the one after that being able to come in person. So it's just all a matter of how COVID works out and how we can do this. So anyway, I'm looking for a venue for our retreats right now. Our usual venue for the church uh, is not available right now. So I'm looking for venues so we can have a retreat every other month and try to get around you know, 25 or 30 people together and have fun sewing. So watch that for your uh, um, options on your... Um, newsletter and um, at this point I'm going to hand it off to Angie and she's going to show you all the items that we're doing for our newsletter this quarter and some items are already filled up but please feel free to call and get into any of the classes that you want to. So I'm handing off the mic to Angie. Thank you. Let's see if I can get this clipped on here. No pressure. No pressure. I'm on live TV. <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. <laughs> All right. We're going to start right off with classes on April Fool's Day. All, uh, you know, my April Fool's people can join me for BSR panel practice. And this is the panel we're going to be doing this time. Is it right side up? Isn't that cute? So it's got a ladybug, some flowers. Lots of different areas to practice your BSR, which stands for Bernina Stitch Regulator for free motion quilting. That'll be fun. Did I hold this up? Yes, let me look. Good. Okay, and then our next class on April 7th is Orchids, Orchids in Bloom, and it's a three first. So we're gonna be doing three separate projects in class. There's a bag. These are all from panels. So each one of these is a panel. There's an apron. I love an apron. And then there's placemats. So you don't have to do all three if you don't want to. I won't make you, but they all coordinate. I thought that would be a really nice like housewarming gift because you can make placemats and the apron and put them in the bag. Super cute. Yeah. Okay. This class is on Thursday, April 8th. This is called My First Quilt. Debbie's teaching this class. It uses these Mayfield pods, so the pieces are all pre-cut. You're ready to sit down and sew. Do you want to say anything about it? Just that it's a great confidence booster for newer sewers. Um, with it, you can just concentrate on your quarter inch seams and it comes together really quickly. It took about five and a half hours. Yay! All right, coming up on, we have three classes. On April 9th, May 14th, and June 7th, Lynn is teaching Summer Moon. Oh boy, I fell in love with this one. But before I start, I need to give a shout out to my grandchildren. I told my grandkids in Texas that I would give them a shout out. So, hello Emily, hello Ryan, hello Jack Jack. I love you and I miss you. And I better say hello Addie and hello Ella who live here in Grand Junction. So anyway, <coughs> back to Summer Moon. This this um, quilt or this quilt just intrigued me because it's three, the blocks are three different sizes. There's the eight, the six and a half, and the cute little five. It's adorable. And there's, I believe, 24, 22 or 24 blocks, different blocks, and you do all of them in three different sizes. You can kind of see. Look at those tiny <laughs> little um, flying geese. Sorry, you thought you were going to be talking, but I just. Uh, look at I those like cute little half square triangles. They're adorable. Birds uh -huh. in the air. This class is just, it's like, um, if you can sew a quarter inch seam, you can do this. They need to be accurate. And, but it's like, I've had a lot of fun putting these blocks together. But what really intrigued me, intrigues me about this is that the, the smaller blocks, when you start putting together your quilt, the smaller blocks you will add 
a border and I haven't gotten that far yet but there's little borders on to bring those blocks up to eight inches so all of your blocks are going to be eight inches this is going to go on um, I'm planning at this point we're going to do um, once a month and for 10 months I think could be a year we'll just see how, how it goes so um, it's going to be fun and I hope you'll come and join me it's going to improve your skills that's kind of one of the things that I like so all right thanks all right so I just thought of something too Jeff and I had the mic I hope you can hear Lynn and Debbie because they didn't have the mic all right coming up next is bindings class basic bindings in April and we're going to be doing thank you um, I'll show you how to do nice mitered corners how to join your ends so that they look really nice we practice doing corners and then we do bias binding on scalloped curves sorry Am I helping? Am I, I don't know if I'm helping. That's what I'm like. Am I helping you or I'm probably not? Okay, so that's bindings. April 13th, we have chenille placemats. These are made from a panel. They, you need four panels of the same print to do chenille. But these four different fruity placemats are on the same panel. And then I just picked a coordinating back end binding. Now, right. now we're going to get smart. No, no, you can have it. I can talk loud. So this is I'll Calendar Club. It. This is April's Calendar Club. I should look on that. April 14th. Um, the cool thing about this is it's folded. So the little stars in the middle are folded. And it so you can sorry, point. Now you can point. Makes them uh, thicker. So it's kind of like a, two hot pads in the middle of your table runner. And it's not paper piece. They're just folded. So that's pretty awesome. And they touch it. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. And by the way, this uh, border fabric matches the Orchids in Bloom panels. And we have it held in back for people that are taking classes. All right, next class is called Love Never Fails. It's um, April 15th. Used to be tax day, but it's not anymore. That got extended to May something. It uses a panel in the center and then pieced blocks on two borders. It's lovely. Isn't that a nice poem? Yeah. This would make a great wedding gift, um, anniversary gift, engagement, or just because. I want it. And we have kits ready to go. And I think we have just separate panels. We do. We have just the panels and the coordinating fabric if you want to do your own thing with it. But the class is that. All right, free motion quilting. We have two sessions of this in April on the 16th and then June, which is a Saturday on the 5th. Just is teaching this class. Do you want to say something special about it? It's a lot of fun. It's adorable. Isn't this cute? It's easy going, relaxed time. Play with your what your machine can do. Yeah. That's the messy version. <laughs> but this is this, what it can start to look like. Aren't those beautiful feathers? Feathers are one of the classic designs. I love them. <clears throat> we don't want that on there. Sometimes they're leaping. <laughs> 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 All right. Next class, April 17th. It's called Last Steps. Lynn's teaching oh. this class. Yes, this is for anyone who has a quilt top. Just talking to me, <laughs> talk, speaking to the mic, Lynn. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Anyone who has a, who's worked on their quilt top, especially those that have taken my beginning piecing class, if you've got your quilt, your blocks together, I'm going to show you how to do your your borders, and then how you what you the steps that you go through to finish your quilt, and um, it's just it's just a short class um, that just kind of f helps you to take those last steps to get your project done. So this would also be good if you did Debbie's first quilt, got your top piece, and then you could come to Lynn's class and finish <coughs> it. That'd be awesome. Yeah, great idea. And then next is another class by Lynn. Uh, 
this one has been really popular. So um, it is Cathedral Window, and it's going to be April 19th. It's going to be all day. Um, I did the pillow, and then this is just a table topper. In my previous classes, some of the ladies, instead of doing a topper, they wanted a table runner. And this is a fun technique. It's just the comments that people have made um, after they've taken this class is, oh, it was just fun to do something different. And it is different. So, um, come. Super cute. The, what's the back look like? So, like a quilt as you go. Kind of, yeah. It's kind of like quilt or herb, fabric origami. Um, you're, you're manipulating the fabric and then stitching it down. So, anyways. And then there's, I'll even teach you how to do yo yo's. So, so you can do yo yo's or buttons. Yeah. Or buttons. Or you don't have to do anything if you don't want to. And your, your choices for the class are either the pillow or the table topper. And if you do the table topper, you could go on and make, as, make it as big as you want. So. And you're offering that twice this quarter. Am I? <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. By golly, I am. Ready yes, or indeed. not. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. So right after Cathedral Window, which is on April 19th, then we have Jeweled Window, which is on April 20th. So pretty. So this is, uh, looks like a stained glass. It is paper pieced. It's really not that hard. There's only four blocks. Here's your block. And you make it um, in two triangles. Very pretty. I thought it was pretty. Super we pretty. have two colorways. This is called the winter colorway, mm -hmm. which I believe we are sold out of. But we also have a summer colorway, which has oranges and yellows in it. Still very pretty. Okay. This one I'll need help with. Okay. So this is a class I'm doing called <coughs> Solar Flare. It's actually a very simple class. It is all half square triangles. Oh, you're too far away from the oh, mic. It's all half square triangles. I'm probably fine. I yell. <laughs> so it's all half square triangles. It's a nice, easy quilt. I do have some kits available um, for the colored fabric, and then it, you can choose the background of your choice, or you can do it whatever you like. So pretty quick and easy, and uh, I think it'd make a great guy quilt too, which we don't ever see often enough, so. Are these made with 10 inch squares? Um, no, it's yardage. So we can't use a layer cake. Can't use a layer that. cake. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. Sorry, now you have to fold it yourself. It's all good. Um, okay, let me get my up again. All right, we're ready to go. Right behind us here, we have all of our 4th of July fabric. We have some two and a half inch strips. We have this pretty book. This is always fun, right? I'll see if I can flip through it so you can get an idea of what's in here. Looks like it has some needle punch, handwork, bags, all kinds of fun stuff. Pin cushion maybe? Pouch it said. Bag. All kinds of fun projects. We have this pretty pattern. We have this America the Beautiful panel in two colorways. What's that other colorway? Uh, red. It's at the bottom of the Oh, mm, over nice. here in red. It's a red background. Uh huh. We'll just lift her little skirt up here so you can see what's under there. Ah. Ta da! <laughs> Here's another red, white, and blue beautiful pattern. Another pattern. This pattern goes obviously with the panel. And then up there we have some more red, white, and blue samples and patterns. So you can get all ready for, I uh, almost said Valentine's Day, 4th of July. Uh, that's going to fall down. We're just going to move on so you don't see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, April 22nd, Julie's going to do quilting in the hoop. So this is for those individuals that uh, aren't going to be a master of free motion quilting but want those beautiful results. So this is all done in your embroidery hoop and it can be done in five by seven or larger 
and there's lots of different patterns available. I will go over the technique um, and get you started on doing your own projects and finishing them up at home. So you line them up so it comes out like a pantograph. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay, that was Thursday, April 22nd. And then more Julie, more Affairs of the Heart. So this is the pattern that we're working on. It is a workshop, so no matter what portion of your project you're on, you can come in and get some work time and or help. Um, I picked this out for mostly beginners. Uh, it looks very complicated, but it's actually a very simple project. Um, we do have different fabrics and kits available for you and kind of break in and use in your new machines and stuff. Okay, on Monday and Tuesday, this is a two-day immersion class. I'm teaching quilting with your walking foot. You can take it either in April or in June. And these are all the samples that we make over those two days. So you come with your little um, sandwiches ready to go, and you will learn how to stitch all of these out, all of those designs. And then when you're ready to quilt your next project, you have um, a little idea book on what to quilt with. And this is the book that we use, the walk book. Okay, embroidery workshop. Thursdays, the last Thursday of each month, we're doing, I say we, but that's the collective we, it's Julie, is doing these little, it's called Peek Inside Bag Collection. It looks like it has a vinyl front and mesh. And, mesh. and those are, ah, can't pick the paper up. You can do either a morning session or an afternoon session. Okay, we are into May now, right? Yes, we are. We're into May. Okay, so if you're familiar with Star Wars, then you know the phrase, may the force be with you. If you're not, then that's one of the popular phrases from the movie, may the force be with you. So over the years, may the fourth has become known as Star Wars Day. So I wanted to do something Star Wars themed on May the 4th. I love it. <laughs> so I'm doing a Stormtrooper Block Keeper. So I did it in black and whites. So this is sort of the little Stormtrooper, but I just did covered buttons. Isn't that cute? That's so cute. Did you make those? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Barely, I barely got them sewed on today. You're the Yoda oh. of quilting. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be my new nickname. Okay, yeah. and there's one more um, button or elastic here. So it closes with elastic closures over the buttons. Okay. That one stays. Okay. <laughs> Just the bottom one. So the way it goes is this piece of elastic goes around this button to hold your pages flat. Oh. And then. Wow. Oh, look, there's blocks in here. <laughs> These are flannel pages then that your blocks in progress can go in. Aren't these beautiful fabrics? We're going to come back to these because there's another project that uses these. But isn't that fun? Stormtrooper Block Keeper. So, whoops, Oops. my stuff is all coming off. Obviously, I didn't stick is it down very flannel? good. Uh-huh, flannel. You could pin it too if you Yes, need yep. It. It's a good size. It's 18 and a half inches square, so you can put 18 inch blocks in there. So Not so good for fat quarters because fat quarters are only 18 inches. <laughs> but it's out of this book. Very nice. And I'll show you the pattern. I want to see. So this is what the colors they did it with. Uh -huh. Now, it's a lot of half square triangles in there. If you don't want to piece that many half square triangles, it would be just as beautiful if you used just yeah. a large scale print. Just a big old 18 and a half inch squares. Yeah, super nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, I lost my schedule, but Quilting we're gonna Yoda. move on. <laughs> Quilting Yoda, that's me, I guess. My friend Debbie brought me the Star Wars fat quarters so I could have some actual Star Wars fabric nice. in my Stormtrooper. Julie's gonna teach Kimberbell zipper bags. Isn't that cute? You can actually see through them. So this is a, just an afternoon class. We're going to learn how to use the Kimberbell leathers and their vinyls that are different colors. They come in different colorways, so you can make whatever combination of colors you want. Their leathers come in different colors, 
and we're using lace zippers. So it's just going to be fun to help you learn how to do their project and cute little bags. Come prepared, make a whole bunch of them. So did you call it leather lace and vinyl? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> leather lace and vinyl. Leather, thank you. <laughs> All right, on May 10th and 11th, so we had quilting with your walking foot. Once you've taken quilting with your walking foot, then you can take more quilting with your walking foot. So this in the newsletter was not listed as more. It's just listed as quilting with your walking foot, but it really is more. And it's the one in? In May, May 10th in and May. 11th. May. And so these are the samples we make in this class. They're a little bit more involved than the last one. The, and we have some that are for triangles and borders. So you have to piece some of your blocks together before you come to class. It's a, whereas the last one was just solid pieces of fabric. Some of these are pieced. And this is the book that we use. Where did that you one? spiral bind it? Uh, one of the office supply stores, probably Office Depot. That's one of my favorite things to do. It's so nice, though, because you can just open your book up and it lays flat. Mm -hmm. You can flip it over. You don't have to try and prop it open or anything like that. And it is very affordable. Yes, incredibly. All right, back to Calendar Club. So Calendar Club for May is called Strip It. Very fun project. You just sew a block together and you cut it apart and strip it back together. I had great intentions of quilting it, so it's pinned. Um, hopefully it'll be quilted at some point, but... Uh, yeah, another one, Calendar Club, quick and easy runner, fun to do. Very pretty. It looks very summery. It does. And again, we're holding some of the fabrics back, if you like the looks of that. And this is Wednesday, May 12th. Okay, round the corner. Should we come back here first? Uh-huh. Let's come back to our new stuff. So we have some really pretty chocolate? threads. It chocolate? looks like boxes of chocolate. <laughs> now I'm going to be hungry. <laughs> we have three different colorways. Little uh, Moderna, Madeira. Madeira. See, I can't remember what it is. And they're only eleven ninety nine a piece. Aren't those fun? Those would make great little gifts. Some are. Some are. Some oh, are some. Oh, they're different oh. prices. Well, all right then. Let's double check that. The, first ones we got were, yeah, the, the variegated is nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. The other two are eleven ninety nine. Then we got some new patterns. Isn't that pretty? You could do that in non-Christmas colors and it would be just as beautiful. Although it is, you know. Christmas in July almost. It is almost Christmas in July, exactly. This is a panel pattern. More panel, we have a bunch of panel patterns. That's a great one. That's, oh, I have that panel. Yay! Mm. You wanna make a store sample? <laughs> and then this last one. So these um, patterns Ooh. you can use to make any, with any panel. This uh, is a cute little applique. I was going to say it's in the hoop, but I don't feel any kind of CD or anything in there, so I think it's just regular applique. And then we have the fabric line for this. Isn't that pretty? Fun, springy, happy. We all need some happy. Big old flowers. Amen. Some of these big flower prints too would be pretty for your stormtrooper block keeper. Mm -hmm. Of course, then it wouldn't be stormtrooper, it would be happy daisies. Here's some happy goats. Just kidding around. Ah, in pajamas. <laughs> goats in pajamas even. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> it's another pattern. And one more. And a new book. This is a new Lisa Bonigen book. Itty Bitty, is that what it's? Yep, Itty Bitty Celebrations. Two inch wool stitcheries. Look at that little snowman, isn't he cute? Mm -hmm. Oh, look how cute those are. Makes you wish you did handwork, huh? Almost. I could almost. Well, they're little. I could probably handle about 10 stitches and get those done in a week. <laughs> it's more than 10. <laughs> they are adorable, but this would be a perfect way to, for me to start. Did that say less Mondays? There's some cute stuff in there. 
Was Monday more summer? Mm-hmm. Nice. I love you more than chocolate. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> love, hate, relationship, and that's a seam ripper. Cute. Super cute. All kinds of different ones in there. Those would be really fun to make for gifts, too. All right. On to our next class, Saturday, May 15th. Trist is doing another session of the serger bag. Do you want to talk about it? This pattern is by Deb Canham, and I left the big book out because this is really what you need to have to do it, is all these like sleeves to put your pieces in um, and keep you on track and organized. Um, you are able to join anytime. You're not gonna finish your bag in one class. Um, I love this. That was a bonus, just because I knew how to do it. This would be really fun to put on a zipper pull on a bag. I'm gonna once I'm Oh, finished. right here. There, oh, see? A, <laughs> on what kind of bag? Maybe a serger bag? Serger bag. <laughs> and there is some, all kinds of fun techniques. There's a ladder stitch um, zipper, a pocket, so you're using your elasticator foot, uh, and just some fun stuff. I want an elasticator foot just because it's fun to say. Elasticator. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> All right. Oh my <clears throat> Moving on. I love you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> on Monday, May 17th, I'm doing a class called Hill Country. It's out of this book, Prairie Patchwork, I think it's called Prairie Patchwork, which is on back order, sorry. But there's the picture in the book. Doesn't look like it'll be too intense. I think uh, we can handle that. And it's, uh, what size is it? Maybe I know. I wanna say throw size. Should be right here, 39 by 53 and 1 8th. Let's be specific. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> Thursday, May 20th, Ombre Blossoms. Lynn's back to her Ombre class. Mm -hmm. Lynn loves the ombres. I love Vanessa Christensen's ombre um, fabric. So, and this one just really intrigued me. You're on the wrong side of me. <laughs> so, this uses uh, it's it's a pattern by Krista Mosier, and it uses um, her sixty degree um, angled ruler. Um, it's got Y seams, but you know what? They were not hard. They were not hard. Hear sure? me again. They were not hard. And was, what was it easy? It takes some not thought. Hard. Not hard. Not hard. <laughs> <Okay>. not hard. <laughs> so anyway, I just I loved how it went together and I just it's it's just it was a fun quilt to do and I just loved how it just the colors and um anyway, it'll be fun. And we have a couple we have kits. So we do have kits, yep, that have the fabric in it, so um Anyway, enjoy. Oh, this way. Thank you. All righty. Moving right along. May 20th. No, that was the last one. Sorry. May 24th. I'm doing Bed Runner Options. It's out of the Lori Holt Prim and Proper book. And I wanted to do a Bed Runner out of here, and I couldn't decide which one. So I decided you get to decide which one. <laughs> so here's your options. The Prim Star Runner, the Prim Stitch Runner, or the Prim Cabin Runner. And I made A little bit the of Stitch water. Runner. That'll go in my bedroom. I love it. I like blue. Me too. Florals, very pretty. And then I did one block of each of the others. So the star and the log cabin. They're all lovely. And I tried to use the same fabric so that you could get a feel for the pattern without the color being an influencer. Mm -hmm. yes. And on June, we're into June now. June 2nd, which is a Wednesday, I'm going to be teaching beginning applique. So, was it, a it was a quacker. 
Where is he? There he is. So we talk about how uh, patterns need to underlay. There's some pieces. We do this um, mousse. We'll be doing raw edge, applique, blanket stitch, and I have multiples of these. In matching thread and contrasting thread. There's blanket stitch, satin stitch. We talk about all kinds of different things that will help you be more successful in your applique. That's so awesome. Reverse applique. And then I just have more samples over here. The same little, same little guys. And then with the circle we do, um, it's called, I call it turn, fuse, and sew. So that's all beginning applique. Our last calendar club for the quarter is Pinwheel Hexagon. So this is the one for June. So if you like these colors, you can have a nice little topper for July. Or you can do whatever colors for a baby quilt. It's very, uh, it's fun. It takes a half 60 ruler, which we have, of course, available. And if you like these fabrics, I have them held in the back if you're taking the class. But another kind of cool technique with the half 60 ruler. You know, what I like about this, too, if you make it for um, a child, there's letters and numbers oh, in this yeah. background fabric. So you can that is use true. it as a teaching tool also. Fun. And colors, red, blue. Mm -hmm. Or you could throw it on the floor for a baby to crawl on. Yep. Woo, woo. Sit on, sit on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All kinds of That's you. stuff. Okie dokie. They don't usually tape on it. <laughs> I'm just not going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Monday, June 14th. I have this Patricia quilt. This is the picture of the final quilt. These are some of the fabrics. So let's have a little flashback to the block keeper, the stormtrooper block keeper. Remember I had some blocks in there? I took some of these blocks and put them in there. So there's some of our fabrics. This is the border print for the outside of the quilt. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, very pretty. We will be kitting this up as soon as our fabric comes in. So we were able to get a kit ahead of time so I can get started on the um, shop kit, but we don't have the yardage to cut kits yet, but hopefully we will <laughs> soon. It is very pretty. And speaking of waiting on fabric, the Victorian Table Runner is Wednesday, June 16th. This pattern has been out for a while, um, but there's some new fabric coming out that's supposed to be here this month that I want to make the sample with, and it's cream background and a turquoise and a peach color, and then a little... Um, kind of cloudy peach colored fabric that goes with it. So I'm waiting for my fabric to come in before I get started on this one. If it's not here soon, I'm gonna have to pick different colors. All right, this is Kite Quilts. This is an in the hoop machine embroidery. The blocks come in different sizes from four inch to eight inch. This was five mm -hmm. and seven. Ooh, look at me. <laughs> so even if Yoda. you have um, an embroidery machine that only has a four inch hoop, you can still make this pattern because it'll go as small as four inch blocks. And Julie's teaching this class. This is all in the hoop. Mm -hmm. And she's going to show you two different ways to finish it off in the back, either with a solid piece of fabric or with, mm, what do you call those, sashing strips. Sashing. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Nice work. Let's turn around. Oh, sorry. I was going to make Lynn go under the cord, but I guess I won't. So we have some new fabric out. We have um, Tula Pink. These are Tula. These are Tula. We have pre-cuts from Tula. Little stinkers. Isn't this adorable? Yeah. Look at that little skunk. <laughs> that would be really cute as a block keeper, too. Yes. And then down here, these are not Tula, but they're brand new. They just came in today. I love this blue. These three are Tula, and then we have that beautiful stripe back there. All right, on the second floor, we have some animal prints. Really nice. We have this tiger kit. Don't be scared. Yeah, don't be scared. He is pretty fierce looking. So the center is a panel. It's a beautiful panel. Then we have some pretty flowers over here in strips and 
10 inch squares. And we have some uh, softer flannels here. These are from Three Sister. Let's see if I can fan through these a little. Big prints, little prints, very soft feminine colors. Peaches, pinks, uh, jelly rolls, layer cakes, and then these four bolts coordinate with these pre-cuts. Cool. Oh, here, look, here's a new pattern too. Pretty. Paradise. <sighs> Wouldn't we all love Let's to be in paradise? Let's go there. <laughs> okay, did I forget anything? I don't think so. Okay, I guess that's it. Thank, Thank you. you, everybody. We miss you all. We do miss you. You want to pan to them just yeah. so they can all wave goodbye? <clears throat> Bye. See you soon. Me too. <laughs>